Hello, as I'm describing in, in the text of the log, uh, I believe this log is important because uh, people who are not familiarized with uh, the method that we're dealing with will not understand what we're doing. So, um, so given information about this procedure is extremely important because uh, then you will have the intuition about uh, the devices that we are building to make this, this method portable, cheap, and hopefully uh, we will improve it. So, uh, I made this diagram that you can see over here. It has four pictures which describe the four stages of the diagnostic method. And uh, let's start describing the first stage, which is the collection stage. And um, there are two, two main things that should be done in this stage. Um, in the first place, we have the collection of the samples, uh, which determine a variable name, the quality of the sample. Um, obtaining good samples requires uh, very hard pipelines of, of extracting biological samples because uh, you can extract saliva, mucus, or sputum, and the correct one is the sputum because mucus and saliva are not useful in the diagnostic. Uh, so, as you may understand, uh, extracting sputum for ba from babies or even in old people is kind of hard. And the other uh, main, main thing that should be done uh, is the transportation of the samples. Um, these samples uh, should, should follow some biosecurity considerations. Nevertheless, remote areas or even hospitals in, in cities do not follow biosecurity procedures. Uh, for example, they use some trays in which they carry these, these containers with, with the samples and they may just uh, spill out or just fall down and spill all the, the biological sample. And so they use um, sodium uh, hypochlorite in order to inactivate the, the bacteria. Nevertheless, um, it's still being a danger because they, they, they are handling this sample with their hands, sometimes with the naked hands, not even using gloves. Um, so we're done with this stage and now let's move to the second stage, um, this, which is this one, uh, the preparation stage. And basically we believe this is the most important uh, stage of the diagnostic because uh, here's where the seal Nielsen procedure is done and uh, we need to have trained personnel and all the reagents in order to provide a good a good um, diagnostic because the quality of the sample determines whether the the, um, the slide preparation is going to be good or not and uh, the trained personnel uh, just plays a, a huge role because if they don't know what they are doing then uh, we're not going to have a good slide. Um, there are logs who are made specifically for detecting the main variables in each of these samples, but I'm making this video in order to, to give uh, an intuition about the four ones. So after the preparation slide, um, we move to the evaluation stage. Uh, in this stage, the microscopists look at the microscope and they count the number of bacilli they find in, in 100 uh, fields of the microscope that they must analyze. So after counting them, they have to make a report and the report is made uh, on the chart that you can see over here. So if they find uh, zero bacilli in 1000 fields of the microscope, then, then you get a negative report. Um, if they find, for example, 10 or more in each field, uh, analyzing 20, 20 fields of the microscope, then, then that means three crosses and that's the maximum um, that's the worst diagnostic that you may have. Uh, so as an additional note, um, as we were working with, uh, as we were work, as we are working in a TV diagnostic laboratory in, in our city, um, there are a lot of problems with all the stages of this, of this diagnostic. Uh, for example, uh, some laboratories in, in big hospitals, um, give a lot of false positives. Uh, for example, yesterday we were, uh, we heard that uh, uh, a TV diagnostic laboratory had a sample um, with, uh, was, was detected to be three crosses. Nevertheless, they, they gave a, a negative result. So uh, a 
as the experience that I have right now, I believe that they have a uh, mistaken in this stage over here. So that's why they couldn't get the evaluation done. So I hope this video helps to understand the whole process. And in the next videos, we will show you how, what are the main variables that affect each of the stages.